my god, it's John Saunders! Huge! <laughs> What's going on? All I do is work hard, no sleep, repeat, give a little love to a hit song machine. So my question for you, Mr. Saunders, what is the RA? of this <laughs> next time we're gonna bring the pro profilometer the surf test and just stick it up here yes <laughs> it's pretty shiny there's some scratches obviously from people like touching it but it's pretty cool what's up guys so we are at m hub this place is like a manufacturing incubator uh Tomorrow is an event hosted by John Saunders. There'll be a video of that. Today we're getting a private tour and it's, I'm excited. This place is gonna be amazing. They all go through quickly in a minute. Yeah, it's such a good look. Huh. Wow. Is it rubber? This one's set up for the rolling. We do a lot of circuit boards in that um, because it, it's a higher RPM, so you can get finer detail with smaller bits. Like we can teach sixth graders how to use this in uh, half an hour. It's like uh, PowerPoint, basically. Yeah, they're the whole software. Yeah, the software. So. Oh my god! How many people put their teeth on? Well, so <laughs> the first time I saw it, like we had a miniature one, and. David was holding it. I almost grabbed it to eat it, just to be like, "Ha! I stole your donut." Right, right. Obviously. So and then he was like, "This came from our three D printer." Like, I would have been so embarrassed. <laughs> Is it mixed material or just color dye? Or so what? Uh, this has about nine different heads. Oh. And so it, it can do, you know, yeah. mix of colors. Wow. So we scan the donut, uh, and then three D print. So this was a this was a real donut. <laughs> bucks a month you get access to all this shared space you get access to Autodesk and SolidWorks or a CAD software and then the machine shops wrap around the building just hot, hot desking basically. yeah hot desking so you got to pack your stuff up at night sure but then we have designated desks where there are assigned seats you can leave your yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever project you're working on on those desks check it out so they've got all these like built garages where you can rent out a garage and just have your own little space, your own little hideaway. I am so good at pretending. Keep on smiling in my time, bubble. Like a movie without it. A lot of hydraulic equipment, um, bending, uh, tube bender, 40 ton press, and a 55 ton iron worker, which is really sweet. You hate drawing holes through steel. Punching? Yeah, I just just punch, punching them. So this is a robotic drum set that I did for a Red Bull Hackathon. And uh, we built this in 72 hours with a team of four. <laughs> so this thing, I had, uh, I only had a night and evening to do it. Um, but it's basically, it stands up like this, and uh, you fill this thing with 100 PSI, uh, and this is um, what they call a pulse valve, and it opens in six milliseconds. So the, the way this valve works is, there's a gasket right here, and uh, the pressure builds up behind the valve, and it pushes on a, I guess on a flange here. Uh, and when you release the pressure from this, mm -hmm. the pressure that um, is on this side of the valve oh, sneak. pushes it open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as, like, as fast as the air behind on this side of the gasket can go, it opens that and the rest of the air goes out. That's good. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, like these are just little motors, little foam motors. Yeah, this ketchup's seen better days. <laughs> um, but the way it works is there's a CO2 cartridge in here, a valve and then it puts high pressure CO2 in here and the ketchup just, you know, shoots out. <laughs> There's like basically a piston down here 
uh, with a coil that cools. And then um, double wall insulation. And then there's a temperature sensor that touches the bottom of the can. Okay. And then an Arduino turns on and off this compressor. So this place is absolutely phenomenal. People are running actual businesses out of little tiny desks, making products, selling products, outsourcing. It's incredible.